What is going on guys? It's your boy Trent back with another video. Today have a very special guest here on the channel, a Auburn football player, a punter, Mr. Marshall Myers. And Marshall, welcome into the channel, man. Thank uh, you. For the thank people you. who don't know who you are, just tell your name, uh, position, just tell us some information about yourself. Absolutely, yeah. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, my name is Marshall Myers, and I, uh, I have the privilege of being on the football team here at Auburn University. Um, I know Trent's mentioned it. I am listed as a punter. I know that. Um, if need be, I can punt. I actually, I'm actually a place kicker. Um, for those that don't know, uh, for depth chart reasons, I'm listed as a punter. But I am, I'm, I'm primarily a place kicker, um, and I, I enjoy doing that. And I'm blessed to be here at Auburn, and it's, um, it's where I'm at right now. Yeah. Um, originally, I'm actually from Opelika, Alabama, uh, which is about 15 minutes from Auburn. So uh, nothing but a short little okay. drive. Yeah, drive on right down the road. Yeah, it's 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 really nice, you know. Um, if I ever need a home cooked meal, or I run out of uh, run out of laundry detergent, I just head home real quick. If you know what I mean. So yeah, hey, it's right on the roof for it's easy, man. <laughs> so yeah, it is, it is, and um, you know, I'm grateful for it. But I'm, you know, you, you you're still able. I don't feel as though um, you know, I'm just sitting at home, sit with my brothers and my parents. I feel like I'm at college, and I think that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, I I heard that, man. I heard it. Okay, so how did you start kicking and punting? Yeah, um, believe it or not, I just finished up this past year as my sophomore year. That is my fourth year ever playing football. I've played, I've played soccer up until uh, senior year of high school for twelve years. Um, and as you can imagine, uh, being a kicker, um, you, you learn how to kick a ball regardless of the shape of it. You know, pretty well playing soccer for yeah. that long. Um, and about right as junior year came along, I moved from Lee Scott Academy, which is located in Auburn, to Opelika High School, which is the, the city school from, from Opelika, okay. Alabama. And um, I primarily left. Um, the high school coach there reached out to me and said that they needed a kicker. They've had good kickers in the past, and they've heard about my success in soccer. And he wanted to have me come to the school, and he said, you know, we don't really have a kicker. Um, for this upcoming season, we need one. You can still play soccer here, and we think you have talent. And lo and behold, I, I did that and performed really well. And um, I'm a walk-on um, for those that don't know. And after that junior season of football, I came out to Auburn midsummer, and I hadn't really been kicking much. I was taking time off, but I came to the specialist camp. Uh, we have a dear friend of my family's, and uh, Mr. Kendall Simmons, who's uh, one of our – he's our offensive line analyst, um, former uh, – offensive lineman at Auburn who actually won two Super Bowls with the Steelers. He's good friends of ours, and he got in contact uh, with our coordinator and analyst at that time, and uh, they knew who I was prior to coming to the camp, and I performed really well. I placed top two um, at the at the field goal competition with actually another guy, Evan McGuire, who walked on with me the same year, and the rest is history. Okay. Yeah. They offered me the uh, a couple months later, I came to uh, our home their homecoming game of the 2019 season was against Kent State. I came to that game, and I actually came also with a visit to the Ole Miss game that year in Auburn. And okay. um, they came and talked to us after you know we have Tiger Walk, and we're all sitting there in the recruiting lounge. We really don't know what's going on. Um, I really hadn't experienced anything like that, and they they flat out told me they said with your GPA and uh, your performance and what we know you can do kicking a football. We want you to come walk on. Wow. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. So like just four, I mean, four years ago, you weren't even playing on playing football. No, so you, no. Was your dream, um, was your dream playing soccer at Auburn or professional soccer? Or? Well, you know, for a, for a long time, um, you know, I love soccer. If, if I could have played professional and I think had the ability in the, um, uh, the circumstances played. I would have loved to. I played for a for a pretty highly ranked team at at one point up in Birmingham, um, youth team wise. I was on a team ranked as high as eleventh in the season. Um, you know the the nation over, which is really good. Um, but the Lord saw fit I, the way things moved out. Um, you know, I'd have loved to play college and maybe professional. I don't know if we have gotten to that, but um, you know, the Lord saw fit that. Uh, he would allow me to be on a team in front of that I can play in front of ninety thousand people instead of maybe a few thousand, and I'll take that any day yeah. of the week. Oh yeah, I heard that. Okay, so now uh, you mentioned playing soccer, then playing football, coming to Auburn. 
Was there really any other teams you were considering outside of Auburn? I mean, you grew up 15 minutes away. Uh, did you take any other visits anywhere? I didn't, know. I didn't take any other visits. I had before – I guess around the time I began playing football that junior year, of course, like like most people, you begin to decide on a college um, for educa educational and career purposes. And, you know, Auburn being down the road um, was somewhere I loved. Um, but, you know, before even starting to play that football again that junior year, I had been to games, been around the campus. I mean, that's where everyone here goes and you go eat, you go hang out, you you go on the weekends and just enjoy the, uh, the city around the campus. Um, so I knew Auburn, you know, even – is probably where I wanted to go, but um, Samford University up in Birmingham, small little private school that plays in the SoCon, um, you know, really enjoyable football team and enjoyable environment. Um, I never, I never went and visited, but I was in some contact with uh, friends of our family who uh, had some roles on the football team and around the program, and there were some talks here and there. But really, the only, the only offer and major contact I had was Auburn. Okay. Okay. I got you. Okay. So now, uh, what has been your favorite memory at Auburn so far? I think, do, do you want that from a, from a football perspective? Uh, or, uh, yeah, I guess as, so. Well, as football, football or not. Yeah. Um, I know you said you're an, you're an Ole Miss fan. I gotta be honest this year. Uh, we had the night game here in Jern Hare with Ole Miss, and I remember running out of the tunnel. And you know, we hadn't really had a night game. We had a night game the first game against Akron, but you know, you know how the uh, the the weather and the the sun works here. The sun didn't really go down to the fourth quarter. Well, the sun was down by the time we ran out, and I did not know, and I don't think many of us knew that we were going to be throwing out fireworks before the game even started. I mean, the place was rocking. The LEDs were going crazy. Um, that was something yeah. I had never experienced, and. Uh, that was awesome to say the least. And I'm sure even, you know, you know, fans and students in the in the stands would say so too. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay, so now uh next question. You know, I just you just mentioned I'm an Ole Miss fan. Now Ole Miss has two Auburn transfers coming in, uh JJ Peters, also with Darius Tennyson. Uh what is it like playing for those two guys? And uh what is Ole Miss going to get for those two guys? Is what to expect? Yeah. Um, I'll start off with JJ. I know that JJ, he's originally from Oxford, isn't he? Yeah, he's from Oxford. Yeah. I, I know, um, I know, you know, I, I had had a few conversations with him. I liked him a lot. He's a he's a great guy to be around. I know he loves the city of Oxford. I'm sure he's gonna love Ole Miss. Um, JJ is, a, you know, as a player, um, he's very sacrificial. I know this year. He played D line for us, but the year the year prior, his freshman year, he has that he was actually tied in. Um, he's a very yeah. talented athlete. Yeah, he actually played tight in high school. Yeah, among many other things that you know, he played, I've seen his highlights playing basketball too. He's just an all-around uh, phenomenal athlete. Uh, strong, one of the strongest players I've ever seen in the weight room. Being around him, I mean, putting you know six hundred plus six hundred plus pounds on a bar and squatting it, and just you know, really un some inhumane things he's done on in that weight room. He's strong. He's a good football player. He's built for the game. Um, on the flip side, you know, you've got, uh, you know, LT, you've got Ladarius. Um, the guy's uh, just uh, – he's obviously he's not the size of J.J., but he's he's as much of an athlete. You know, what, what J.J. has in strength, Ladarius has in explosiveness and speed. And he knows the game well, he, I believe, you know, watching him. He's very aggressive, be with him on the practice field, great in open tackles, and is extremely fast. And – uh, he's a player who loves his teammates. He's easy to get along with, and I'm sure he'll do Ole Miss well. Okay. Yeah, good answer. Uh, okay, so next question I have for you is now the past couple of weeks, the uh, the whole Brian Harson situation, uh, how are the players handling the situation? Because I kind of feel like it's a big distraction. Uh, I mean, how for you as a player and your teammates, how are you doing with the situation? <laughs> yeah, um, at, you know, as players um, at Auburn, I can say, especially for, for my group, the the sophomores right now, who will be juniors by the time next year rolls around, we definitely haven't had it easy, obviously. Everyone, yeah. our circumstances and those who were already at universities playing had to deal with COVID, and then we came in and had the year we had. And then, you know, we had we had Coach Malzahn um, leave us, and we had to, to reset there. And 
Um, went through a whole season with Coach Harson, and and now we got to where we were two weeks and a week ago. Um, but really, I would say the thing that has kept us together and gotten us to the present moment where we're where we're where we're at now, um, rolling along just as we were, um, is to be is is really because of Coach Harson and what he's taught us ever since he's gotten here about um, being tenacious, being resilient, and being being uh, set in the knowledge of, of the truth that that there is here at Auburn and, and what went on, um, what was true and what wasn't true. We really used what he taught us. And I know that as Coach Harson was gone um, for those few days, um, so settling all this before getting back, uh, we did what he wanted, what he would have wanted us to do. And that's to, to work out and to practice as normal. And that's what we did. If not, we did it even harder because he wasn't there and we knew that we were fighting for something and that something was him. Okay. Yeah. Good answer. Uh, okay. So now it is time for the funny, fun questions. Um, okay. So who is the funniest player on the team? Oh man. Who From is? From last year's team or this year's team? Let me think. Oh. Or even if you want to choose three I, or five of them. I can see. Yeah, no, I can uh, definitely last year's team uh, was TD Moultrie. Um, okay. He was still talking about. character. I remember – you know, we were we were in a day that that you know that spring game that we have, and man, that we're warming up, the music's going, we've got a couple thousand people in the in the stands already, and he's dancing, doing the splits on the sideline to the music. I mean, he was just a ball. I I shared a locker just a few few, few rows down from him, and man, he was fun. Um, he was fun to be around, always joking around, and a heck of a player too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So if you had a daughter. What teammate would you not let date your daughter? Oh boy, um, I'm gonna stick with uh, I'm gonna stick with special teams. The guys here at Auburn, um, they can probably take the if they if they hear this, they'll they'll probably take it a little better. If I wasn't gonna let anybody date my daughter, it would probably be Kyle Vaccarella. He why um, Kyle? He's a uh, he's a he's a freshman freshman deep snapper from Connecticut, and um, he's a hoot. I don't know that maybe n nothing bad. Just I just think of all the guys, just knowing how crazy he is, um, his personality. I just I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if I feel very good. Yeah, so. yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay, so next question is your uh, who is your celebrity crush? Oh boy, celebrity crush. You know, I'm really fond of the, um, of you know, since a kid watching the Star Wars movies. If I had to pick, I guess Natalie Portman. Ooh, oh, she's pretty good. Yeah, I know you're talking <laughs> I, about. I won't deny that. You know, I've. <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching uh, those first three movies, and yeah, um, she's impressive to say the least. Oh yeah, she is. Hey, I agree with you. Okay, so now, uh, who is your favorite athlete? My favorite athlete. Football or not football? Yeah. Um, oh, man. You know, I'd say Bo Jackson, but I'd say that's the stereotypical Auburn answer, especially for someone. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, yeah I, I, won't, I won't go there. Let, let me I, – I can give you that answer. I can give you that answer. Um, both my parents went to Baylor. Um, okay. And, I always chose, you know, Baylor to root for growing up. Um, that's, you know, even before moving here in Auburn and knowing really what Auburn was, I cheered for Baylor. Um, so I'd have to go with RG3. That's uh, well, I, that's I, pretty I, good one. He was – when he, uh, you know, got signed to Washington or didn't sign, he got drafted. Um, I remember that upcoming year, you know, I, I'm a Cowboys fan, but I'd, my, I'd, I'd ask my grandmother for a, uh, a Washington RG3 jersey, and believe it or not, she got me one, so – Okay, that's pretty cool. I'd have to choose RG3. Okay, yeah, good answer. Uh, okay, so final question I have for you is, what is your pregame meal, snack, uh, hype song? Is How do you get ready for a game? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Meal-wise, you know, whatever we're having at the facility or wherever at, whatever we're having at the hotel, um, I'll, I'll find something to eat. I'm not very picky on that. Um you know, music-wise, I, I don't really listen to anything, you know, pre-game in the sense of, you know, on the bus or 
walking over from the facility or even down Tiger Walk. Um, Tiger Walk is is loud as it is with the amount of people we get out there. And, you know, it's it's nice to, you know, hear people, you know, call your name out or, or you know, do the chants with the cheerleaders. That's just fun. Um, but I, I love the music, obviously, in the stadium as we're getting ready. That's always fun. And we'll all get into it a little bit. Um, what was the other, you know, you, you had the, the, the meal, the music. Yeah, pregame meal, snack, um, hype song, how you get ready for a game. I mean, yeah, you, yeah, you pretty yeah. much answered it. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, just we get, you know, I, I will say, uh, we, we don't honest, honestly, as, as kickers and uh, specialists, the way they that we have it set up, the way that our seniors designed it, especially this year, and I'm sure it will continue. We got to get dressed pretty quickly once we get out from Tiger Walk, um, especially in the bigger games where Tiger Walk takes a little bit longer, just because you got a mass of people. Yeah, um, we get out there about 80 minutes for the game starts, fully dressed, and uh, we got to get dressed quick and in and out of suits and you know taped up, you know pads on and ready to go. But um, but once once you're out there, it's it's pretty fun. It's awesome being in a stadium, even at the size of, of Jern Herod at 87 or so thousand. And we're already out there as the students are starting to file in. And you can still hear people talk and call your name out and you get to wave and, and just have fun. And it's 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 a great feeling. It's something I, I enjoy and uh, will cherish um, uh, until, you know, until past my senior year. So, yeah. 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 I got you. I got you. Um, I think that is it. So, hey, I really appreciate you doing this. And, Absolutely. Uh, Hey, best of luck on the season. Yeah, 